Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. So if you've shot your, your video in a regular picture profile on your camera, not using log, I have a method for you to give it a nice film or cinematic look. Let's go. All right guys, so in this video, we have this video file over here that was shot in a regular um, picture profile on my Sony a7 IV camera. So what I'm gonna do, let's go into the color profile area. And the first thing that we need to do, guys, is we need to create some nodes. And to create a node is you hold on your option and press S or you right click and you say add serial node. I'm gonna add a couple more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label it. I'm gonna say LUT. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy the color space transform over here into this node. And the one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna convert it to cine log film. And as you can see right now, it gives you a very flat looking profile as though you were shot in log. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna move this down here. And in our lot section here, I'm gonna come over to film look and I'm gonna choose this one right here. I'm gonna double click on it and here it is. So I know it's looking a little bit over, overly bright right now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come here to a node one and we're gonna just call this correction. <clears throat> All right, and in here, what I'm gonna do inside your primary color wheels in your offset, I'm just gonna bring it all the way down to about here. Just to a point where I'm comfortable with it. And I think that looks pretty good. And one thing, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my HDR color wheels and inside the global setting, I'm just gonna add a lid, little bit of warmth, sorry, a little bit of cold inside there and I'm gonna lift, put some greens because it's looking a little bit off and I think that's looking really nice now right now, guys. So what I'm gonna do next is in this section over here, we'll just go back to the primary color wheel. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring down my gamma not too far down, just to a point to give it a nice contrasty look. And then in the gains, I'm just gonna lift my gains just a bit, not too much. Right about there looks pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do next now is I'm going to come over here. And what I wanna do is I want to soften the skin on her face and on her tummy. So I'm gonna use the qualifier right here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this. And then once I click on it, you can see that no change right here. And what I'm gonna to do to see the effects, I'm gonna hold on my shift and press H. And once I do that, you will see now her face and her skin mostly. What I'm gonna do now, the dropper right here, I'm gonna click on the plus, and I'm just gonna add some areas that I need. And I think that's look pretty good, guys. So down here now in the luminance section, I'm just gonna play with the blacks a little bit. I'm gonna to try to take it away from the other areas as much as I possibly can. And in the highlights, I'm gonna to try to get much of the highlights as much as I possibly can. Let's go back to my plus and see if I can add this in right here. And that looks pretty good. Okay. That's looking pretty good, guys. All right, I think we've covered a nice portion of the skin. It's covering a little bit of the metal, but that's not too, that's not too, nothing for us to worry about. All right, so let's press Shift and press H again. Now that we have the skin here, inside our primary color wheel, we're gonna go to mid details, and all I'm gonna do, let me zoom in using the scroll wheel on the mouse. I'm just gonna take out some of that detail. Let's just kind of soften the skin a little bit. And what I can also do, I can add a nice little blur, just a small amount of blur right there. And I think that looks pretty good, guys. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna zoom back out and I'm looking on our jeans right here. I just wanna darken the blues just a little bit. And in doing that, now I'm gonna click on the third node over here. 
And what I'll do is I'll come over here to my uh, curves. And what I want to do is inside my hue versus hue, I'm going to come over here where it says, uh, where is it? Hue versus Luma. And all I'm going to do is just going to dab on her jeans right there. You're going to see the little dot come here. And all I'm going to do is just kind of bring that down just a bit, just to kind of darken that, that jean. So let's give that, the, the, the video a little bit more contrast. And what I'm going to do next now is you see, you can see the grass over here. I'm just going to come over here inside, uh, which one is it now? No, right there. Uh, this one right here. I'm just going to click on the grass and the greens. And I'm just going to kind of bring it down just a little bit, just so that the grass doesn't look so patchy. I'm kind of, I'm kind of unifying the greens a little bit more. All right. So once I've done that, um, what I'll come up here now, you can notice that we have lost a little bit of the sky over here. So what we can do is we're going to create another node. And then for here, I'm going to come over here in the, uh, what's it called? The window. And then I'm going to use the pen tool and all I'm going to do is just kind of dab over here like so just a little bit I'm just showing you guys what you guys can actually do and then what I'll do now is just going to bring down the highlights just a bit right about there and I think that looks pretty good and what I'll do also, I'll go back to my HDR color wheel and I'm going to just introduce a little bit more magenta because a little bit yellow in the, in the clouds and that's going to add a little bit of blue right there. And I think that looks pretty good, guys. So let's go and add one more node right here. And I think I'm going to add some details in the overall um, video. So let's go back to our primary color wheel over here. And in this section over here, I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. You can see like the details coming into the grass over here. Just a touch, not too much guys, just a touch. And that's looking pretty good. But if you look at the outline that we did over here with the pen tool, you can see that the lines are a little bit rough. We can come back to here down here and then we're just going to add a little bit of softness and if we go back here you can see that it's nicely soft now and if you look at the if you look let's take a look now at the overall before and after guys and let's see what it looks like so before after before after and I think that looks really good guys the one thing we can also do just add a little bit more warmth in there is I'm going to come back to my correction and inside where it says temperature right here I'm just going to bring it up slightly ever so slightly not too much just ever so slightly guys and I think that looks really good and I think in her in the shadow areas right here in the lift I'm just going to slightly bring that up not too much right about there I think that looks really good guys so this last time let's look at our before after before after guys if you guys have enjoyed this video and learned anything from this video smash that like button and if you're new to the channel guys subscribe for more and you guys take care peace